Hey guys, I've um, just been working on a band break. So you can see that there. Just gonna pull this. So basically, I just use the engine mounts to mount this. So I mounted one little pieces of piece of sheet metal on that screw there. I then put like a little guide to stop the band brake coming out um, on that screw there and then on this screw I just put another little thing to hold it up so it doesn't fall down and um, yeah it works really good. Um, I can't really show you guys the operation of it because, you know, I only got two hands. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't really show you, but that should work well. Um, this won't be working for a while. I'm just going to have it sitting on there and not actually in operation. Um, basically I've got to get another 15 kilogram servo and then replace the throttle server with that one so when it goes that way it throttles and when it goes, sorry, when it goes that way it brakes and when it goes that way it throttles so I have the one server for the brake and throttle so yeah, I've got to get another one of those um, MG995 servos or whatever and then hook that up to this it only needs to pull it a little bit but they should be powerful enough I'll give it a demo um, once I've got the steering servos hooked up I need to get like little um uh like linkages to go in there from the hobby shop and then once to go on the servos then I'll mount the servos and hook all that steering up. That won't take very long once I got the stuff but um yeah I have to go to work now so I can't go down the RC shop today but I'll do that tomorrow. Um and then once the steering servers are hooked up I'll just hook this up um to the steering, one of the steering servos and see if it works and yeah then if it does work then I'll get another 15 kilogram servo but I mean the, the wheels are pretty easy to turn so I'm pretty sure the steering servo should work um, so yeah I've welded all those on now welded those on there I was originally going to do like the Ackerman principle for the steering but I just couldn't be welded so I mean, they're still angled in a little bit, but they're not angled towards the thing because I would have had to cut them on like the exact angle, and I just couldn't be bothered doing that. So, <laughs> but they're good enough. And I've just drilled all little holes in them so I can adjust the steering. I'll probably have it on like that hole there. Right, the second one, the third one in, or the fourth one in. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on now. But the RC car's looking good. I, I started up and did a demo. Um, so hopefully the chain didn't throw off, and it didn't, so that's good. Um, the self-adjusting sprocket works pretty well. As you can see, uh, I got up to pretty much full RPM on the engine and it didn't come off, so it should be alright. I might need a spring load tension though because it's pretty damn loose. But uh, I'll catch you guys later. This is just a quick demo of the braking system. So yeah, there's the brake, works pretty damn well.